It's always a time in the program when I have to try to convince my hosts, in this case Paul, that I do know a little bit about cooking myself. So he said, okay, if you're so smart, just go and make me some smothered Cajun-style okra. Just go and do it. So I have. I've prepared for myself here a sunshine tray of Louisiana food. Starting from your left, Clive, we've got onions, we've got the lovely mixed bell peppers, red, yellow and green. We've got chopped okra, or ladies' fingers as we call them in, Link in England. We've got skinned, de-pipped largely, and chopped tomatoes. We've got chicken stock at the back. We've got Louisiana sausage here, and we've got some butter. And swing over left to the pan, and you will see the first stage of my dish going along here. Onions, peppers, and okra going ahead there in butter. Into that, we put some more of this magic Cajun mixture. The pink wonder, as it's become to be known amongst our crew here. Stir that round a little bit, so this dish starts to absorb the flavours. I think I still had to put more butter in that. Paul, you can't see him at the moment, but he's in fact watching me with an eagle, eagle eye. With great interest. Yeah. So, into that, some tomato. Now, what we're going to try and do here is get... We've got that lot starting to cook, so we're going to kind of relay it all again on top so that the food's going to cook in different sort of textures and flavours. Hopefully, so more onions in, more peppers in, and now some more okra in, okay, and now some more of the Cajun magic on top of that. I'm probably going to, probably a bit too much of that, but doesn't really matter. Stir around. Now, we're going to have to employ some magical television stuff here, because obviously if I let this cook on camera, it would last for about 35 minutes, which would be far too long. So right now, you don't mind telling how quick were my viewers? Fine, OK. So, lots and lots of minutes have gone by now. Right, back to the pot again. Bit of sausage. This is a spicy sausage. We pop that in. OK. Then we're going to add a bit of this wonderful chicken stock. And how heartening. Back to me again, please, Clive, if you would. I was amazed that this, of the sophistication of the cooking when I came to America. I didn't expect to find reduced chicken stock. It's really good news. It's wonderful. Right, back into there. OK, now that has been bubbling for not really long enough, but I want to add some more tomato because this is okra smothered in tomato. Put that in. Get plenty of tomato in this. Right, now you just stay with that, Clive. Just keep looking at that for the next 35 minutes, OK? So there we are. The proof of the pudding is, of course, in the eating. Mine is the one with the wooden spoon in it. And Paul's, the sort of more mature, more reduced-looking one, is the one with the metal spoon in it. All we have to do, Paul, to see where I've gone wrong, where I've gone right, is to taste it, I suppose. Could I try yours? Yes, and I'll what? try yours. OK. You really get at this wonderful job. Matter of fact, I think, I think we'll, since we're identifying who's this, who with the spoon, I think we'll kind of switch spoons there. <laughs> This, this is, and the, the taste comparison is very, very close. There's, there's a little more depth in the one that's cooked a long time, but this is, this is, this is, this is good. Really, you've done a super job.